Hello, Facebook. How is it going? It feels like it has been forever since I have been live. It's been like a week. Um, I just want to catch you up on what's been going on in my life. Um, obviously, I'm wearing my glasses, which is really obnoxious when it comes to using a ring light because you can see the reflection of my ring light in my glasses, which is super obnoxious. Hey, Jennifer. Um, so I'm going to talk for a little bit with my glasses on, and then I have to take them off um, because I cannot stand seeing the reflection in my glasses. And it's really, really distracting. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Jeannie. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about where I've been, what's been up, how's it going. Um, so... Last week, Thursday, I woke up with some eye pain again. And if you've been following, hey, Lindsay, hey, Kendra, if you've been following me or any of my lives recently, um, you'll know that I've been having a lot of eye problems and I attributed that to eye strain. And finally, last Thursday, it had probably been like the fifth or sixth time that I was convinced I had strained my eyes. And so... I did the usual, took some ibuprofen, put on some lavender oil to try and relax um, the muscles around my eyes, and I was going to take my contacts out, but sometimes with the what I thought was eye strain, my contacts staying in actually helped, and there wasn't that like adjustment period with my glasses. Hey, Molly. Um... So last Thursday, thought I had another bout of eye strain, went to do a client's makeup for a photo shoot, hey Michelle, and I actually couldn't even handle doing her makeup in the light. It was like 10.30 in the morning, I couldn't even handle it. I had to do her entire makeup um, session with my sunglasses on because it was so bright. So anyways, Chloe... Um, I'm sure most of you know Chloe, but she's the photographer that I work with and one of my bestest friends. So I was telling her what I was experiencing and she's like, girl, you need to go to the eye doctor. You could have like a corneal ulcer and it could be really bad. You need to go. You could go blind. Um, so I go to the eye doctor as soon as I'm done with the makeup session and I don't have a corneal ulcer, but I do have a, um, what do they call it? Like an eye abrasion. So basically two, three months ago, I must have really scratched my eye and I never really let it heal completely because as soon as my eye started to feel better, I'd pop my contacts back in and go on with my life. And then if I did anything that irritated my eyes, usually the triggers were like dust or sand or like if my eyes got really dry, those would be my triggers. And so every time that I got anything in my eyes or I had really dry eyes, it basically just kind of like ripped open that cut on my eye. Um, Michelle, yes, it was really painful. It was really like I was sensitive to light and um, like even if this sounds really weird, but like the wind blowing, if the wind got in my eye, like that was super painful too. Um, hey, Jessica. So anyways, went to the eye doctor. He said, you are not allowed to wear your contacts for 10 days. So it feels like it's been a month, but I've only had my glasses on for four days. And this is the issue that I've been dealing with. I don't know how to deal with this like reflection of my ring light in my glasses. I cannot stand it. Um, so I've been trying some different stuff, but tonight I said, forget it. I'm just going to go live. Um, so if you guys are watching me live and you've survived that story, comment the number one. If you're watching the replay, comment the number two and your favorite emoji so I can show you some love and thank you for watching. But my, I have my setup a little bit different to try and minimize the glare. And when I shake this, my desk, my whole camera moves. So I'm going to take my glasses off to do this, but we're going to use our new duet sculpting stick. Um, I just put in a huge order for these um, for some customers of mine. So if you want to snag one of the duet sticks after this video, message me and I will hook you up. Um, okay, it's reconnected. Hey, Anna. So let's, and now my Wi-Fi is going to be crazy. Perfect. 
Perfect. Um, so I'm gonna take my glasses off and do this quick little contour and highlight spiel with you guys. And I have my mirror right here so that I can use this to look in because <laughs> to be honest, um, my phone is literally like a foot away, but it's still too far. I am like blind as a bat. So I have to take my glasses off and I'm not gonna be able to see who's hopping on and who's commenting. So if you have any questions, comment them and I will come back to you. Hey, Corey. Hey, Holly. So I'm going to take my glasses off. Again, I cannot see anything you guys are commenting, even though you're only like a foot away from me. I cannot see. Um, okay. So I'm going to take these off. It, <laughs> I really don't like that I'm not going to be able to see your guys' comments. So let's do this. All right. So the sculpting stick, it has a highlighting end, which is a lighter color. And then it has a darker end, which is the like sculpting or contour color. And you can do whichever one you want to first. Usually people say to do the contour first because it is going to, um, if you need to make any corrections, it's easier to add the light and kind of fade it out than it is to try and do the light color first and try and get it perfect with the darker color. So most, like for beginners, I would start with the darker color because you can kind of correct any oopsies by putting the lighter color on second, all right? So if you're contouring, whether it's with the sculpting stick or something else, you would like to start with the darker end or the darker color, the contour, before you do the highlight, all right? Um, you can contour and highlight with anything. You could do... Um, powders, creams, you can do sticks, you can do, um, let's see what else. You could use like different shades of your favorite foundation. Like you can do this with any product. So what I love about the Duet Sculpting Stick is that it is like a creamy stick. So it's not, um, it's not a powder, so dry skin can use it and love it. Um, and it's not like an oily, liquid or cream um but it's just kind it's just it's so easy to use it's so easy to use i've used like um cream in like a palette and that can be kind of hard to use because it gets hard um this we'll see but i don't foresee that happening with this just because it is so smooth and creamy okay so let's jump into this so for the contour it's a darker color this comes in like the perfect stick it looks almost like a lipstick when you get it or like a big crayon and what you're gonna do is you are going to you want to contour anywhere that you want to like slim or create the illusion of being smaller or thinner so i usually say to go from the corner of your mouth to the top of your ear so basically right in the hollow of your cheek but if you were connecting the corner of your mouth to the top of your ear, that's where you would want to draw that line. And then your forehead and your temples. So basically what you're doing when you contour your forehead and your temples is that you're bringing that highlight color is really able to highlight this eye area. And if you have like a longer forehead or a bigger forehead that you're self-conscious about, this is a great way to kind of slim that down and create the illusion of a smaller forehead, okay? Same with the nose. So you contour down the sides of your nose. And now that creates the illusion of a smaller nose, all right? And you can do like two lines, one on the tip of your nose and then one about a third of the way up and that's going to create like the illusion of like the perfect little button nose okay um next you can create the illusion of a bigger lower lip by just kind of doing like a quarter circle right underneath that lip and then you can contour your jawline so follow your jaw and that will create the illusion of like a thinner face Okay, so that is our where we're going to use our dark contour. So in the hollows of our cheeks, along our hairline, along our jawline, and then on the sides of our nose and right under our lip. So then what you can do is you can do one of two things. You can either just jump right in and apply your highlight and then blend it all at the same time. 
or you can just blend your contour like I'm going to and then go back in and do your highlight. So you can blend with a brush, which is what I prefer to blend with, it's just easier, or you can blend with a moist or damp blending bud, which is just a beauty sponge. Either one works, There's, it's just personal preference, whatever you wanna use. Um, this is great for those of you with dry skin. This will really help um, kind of blend things out and make it really smooth. Um, a brush works great. Honestly, it's literally just personal preference, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start buffing in that contour. And I like to do small circle motions and really just kind of buff that in and blend it back. So along your hairline, you're gonna blend it back into your hair and really just soften up those lines and blend that color out. And then the jawline, you wanna blend it down your neck. Contouring always like, it's one of those things that before I really understood what I was doing, it was really intimidating. I was like, I don't know how to do that. All the movie stars do it, I don't know what I'm doing. But once you understand what you're doing, it's so easy. And these duet sculpting sticks make it so simple. It's so easy. I'm sorry if you guys are commenting, I literally cannot see what you're saying because I don't have my glasses on, I'm so sorry. All right, and then Make sure you don't forget to blend the sides of your nose. And again, like I said, you could have blended the contour and then go back in with the highlight like we're going to, or you could just add the highlight and blend it all at one time. It's literally, again, it's personal preference, okay? So now that we have our contour or our darker color done, we're gonna go in and use our highlight. When you guys hop on, say hi. Let me know that you're watching. I can't see who's hopping on. So please comment so I can thank you for tuning in after I hop off, okay? So now the highlight, you want to highlight the high points of your face or the, the areas that you want to bring focus to. So now for the high points of your face, you are going to want to highlight down the center of your nose. Okay, you wanna go above your lip and then right on your chin. And then I like to highlight up on my forehead, like between my eyebrows and then up onto my forehead because what I'm doing is I am drawing attention to this part of my face. So above on my forehead and then under my eyes in like an upside down triangle Okay, so down along my nose, up and out to the outer corner of my eye, and then down under my eye. So down, up, and under. Down, up, and under, okay? And then if you really want like a chiseled cheekbone or you really want that defined like cheek area, you can put a contour between your or you can put a highlight, sorry, you can put a highlight between your cheek contour and your chin contour. And that just kind of intensifies these two, okay? Um, I usually don't do this highlight or the jawbone contour, but that's just personal preference again. Um, so for the lighter color, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this blending bud. Um, and all you do is you get it damp, so this is already wet, and you just pounce it on your face, okay? So just quick dabbing motions. I like Beauty Buds because it gives a really like natural finish and it picks up any excess product. So if you're using a blending bud, chances are you're gonna be able, it'll soak up any extra product so you don't have to worry about having too much product on your face, okay? So if you are really going for a natural look and you wanna make sure you're not using too much product, I would say pick up a blending bud and go that route, okay? So I am just blending up this highlight really well. 
and using those quick pouncing motions. And these beauty buds, you can get them at Sephora, you can get them online, you can get them at Walmart. I always suggest trying a couple brands because I, this is a Sephora brand and I tried the Unique brand beauty blenders and I wasn't a huge fan. I just didn't like how rough they were. I really like the softer, smoother texture. So um, this has a tapered end too, so it makes it really easy to get like right under your eye or like to clean up eye looks. Love that. I totally forgot I had a winged liner on you guys, so I've been just like pouncing away with my blending bud, not paying attention. Okay, so now you could call this good and be done with it. I like to go back in with my brush and just make sure that everything is smooth, there's no harsh lines, and everything looks good. And you could easily, like I said, call this done. Bing, bang, boom. Makeup's good to go. Easy peasy. Or you could add bronzer. You could set it with a powder. What I've been doing is I've just been setting my nose with a powder because the nose on my glasses, like, if I just leave this, it gets a little bit, like, oily. And my glasses will slide down my nose. So I've been setting my nose with a setting powder. It's translucent, so you, it doesn't add any coverage or anything. Um, but I've been doing that just to keep my glasses from sliding down my nose. I'm going to put these on just so I can see if there's any comments. Um, give me one second. Um, okay, Michelle, do I do this before or after concealer or alone? So what I do is I actually use the lighter end as concealer, but you would do this, um, you would do this after concealer. If you're hiding blemishes, you do it after the, con after the concealer. Okay. Hey, Brianne. Hey, Trinity. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Kelsey. Um, okay. Hey, everybody. Oh my gosh. Hey, Anna. Um, all right. So if you guys want to comment and say, hey, I would love to chat with each of you, but I just wanted to show you guys how to contour with the new sculpting stick. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I literally just put an order in for like I had a bunch of people message me and want them. I just ordered like 15. I just ordered like 15 like sculpting sticks. Um, so if they run out, I'm sorry. Um, hey, Sarah. So if you guys want to get in on this, um, let me know. I can add it to my next order. I've already got people messaging me to get in on the next order. Otherwise, if you have questions on contouring at all, let me know. Um, but yeah, snag this up. This is a limited time thing, you guys. So this is definitely not gonna last. <laughs> Once these sell out and they're gone, they're gone. They're not coming back. So stock up, get yourself two or three of them and cross your fingers that Unique takes, kind, takes pity on us and is kind to us and sends them back our way. Once they're done and gone, maybe they'll listen to us and make them a permanent part. Who knows? So stock up if you like them. Um, is it easier than doing concealer? It's a horse apiece. Uh, Michelle, hey Corbin. Um, honestly, concealer, I use a cream concealer and just dab it on. Um, and I do the same exact thing, but with the cream, like the lighter end of this um, duet stick. So I just dab it on and blend it out. Like you could, I'm sure you saw before, my skin is really angry right now um, because it's that time of the month. I'm oversharing. I don't care. Um, but I get a lot of like acne right around here um, during my time of the month. And so I have angry skin and this has been working amazing to cover that. Okay. So if you guys have any other questions, I'll come back and answer them. Hey, Katrina. And I hope you guys have a great night and we'll talk soon. Hopefully I figure out this whole like reflection in my glasses thing so I can be going live, even though I've been forbidden from using my contacts for a little bit. We're going to manage. We're going to figure it out together, right? I hope everybody has a great night and we'll talk soon. Bye.